Welcome to Edupedia World Grade 10 Computer Science Video Lecture Series. I'm Upeka Vandibona and from this episode we are going to start our third section, Introduction to Algorithms. Algorithms are all around us governing everything from the technology we use to the routine decisions we make every day. Algorithms are fascinating, and although some are quite complex, the concept itself is actually quite simple. An algorithm is a detailed step-by-step -step instruction set or formula for solving a problem or completing a task. In computing, programmers write algorithms that instruct the computer how to perform a task. When you think of an algorithm in the most general way, not just in regards to computing, algorithms are everywhere. As an example, a recipe for making food is an algorithm. The method you use to solve addition or long division problems is an algorithm. And the process of folding a shirt or tying the shoelace knot is an algorithm. Even your morning routine could be considered as an algorithm. And here is what your morning might look like written out as an algorithm. And I know exactly what is happening in your mornings. Let's check whether I am correct. When alarm rings occurs, you repeat this three times. You hit the snooze button and wait until alarm rings again. And for the second time, when the alarm rings, you hit the snooze button and again you wait until alarm rings again. And again, for the third time, you hit the snooze button and wait until alarm rings. And this time, when the alarm rings, you turn off the alarm. And then get up, take a shower and get dressed. And then you eat your breakfast. That is what you eat in the morning. And if the weather is sunny, then you walk to school. If it is not, you ride to school with your parent. So this is an algorithm that you repeat every weekday. In formal words, we describe algorithm as a repeatable process for determining the solution to a problem. In algorithmic thinking, or the ability to define clear steps to solve a problem is crucial in subjects like math and science. We use algorithms without realizing it all the time, especially in math. To solve a long division problem, we apply an algorithm we have learned in order to iterate through the digits of the number we are dividing. For each digit of the dividend, the number being divided, we must divide, multiply and subtract. Algorithmic thinking allows us to break down problems and conceptualize solutions in terms of discrete steps in procedure. Now here are a few problems that you face in your daily life that needed solutions as algorithms. Finding a foot in the grocery store, alphabetizing name tags, reorganizing your toolbox to make finding stuff easier, finding keys that you lost, washing your car windows, finding something good to watch on TV. Now let's take this final problem, finding something good to watch on TV. Here is a one solution. Turn on the TV and watch whatever that appears in the TV channel. We can write it down like this in a procedure. Def, that means define the name of the procedure, watch TV version 1 and inside this procedure, channel switches is 0 because we are not going to switch the channels. We are watching whatever in the TV channel that appears. The first step turn on the TV, we call that method. The second step, watch and then the end. So that is a one solution. Let's look at another solution. The first step is turn on the TV. The second step is flip through every channel and rate what is on. The third step is find the channel with the highest rated program. And the fourth step is watch that program. Let's write it down in a procedure. Define Watch TV version 2 and here is our list of TV channels ABC, NBC, ESPN and etc. And then we are defining another list for the channel ratings. It is an empty list. In the process we input the ratings of the programs. 
and the first step is turn on the TV. We are calling that method. From the code lines 21 to 24, we are looping through each and every TV channel in the list. From the code line 22, we call the rate method with the TV channel and take the rating of that program in the TV channel. From the code line 23, we assign that rating into our empty list channel rating with the TV channel. From the code line 26, we take the maximum rating value. From the code line 27, we find the TV channel with the maximum rating program. From the code line 29, we watch that TV channel. So now we have two solutions to the problem finding something good to watch on the TV. Here is another solution. And this time we are not going through all of the TV channels. We are considering the top 5 TV channels that we most like. So the first step is turn on the TV. The second step is check 5 favorite channels and rate what is on. The third step is find the channel with the highest rated program. The fourth step is watching that TV channel. If we write it down in a procedure, we write it like this. Define watch TV version 3 and here is our top 5 TV channels MSNBC, HBO, NBC, PBS, MCN. From the code line 37, we create the empty list, channel ratings to input the ratings of the program. From the code line 39, we call the turn on TV method our first step. And from the code lines 41 to 44, we iterate through our TV channel list. From the code line 42, we call the rate method with the TV channel and take the rating of the program in that channel. And from the code line 43, we input that rating into our empty list channel rating with the TV channel. And outside of the loop, we find the maximum rating value. And from the code line 47, we find the channel with that program of the maximum rating. And from the code line 49, we watch that TV channel. Now tell me what solution, what algorithm you mostly preferred, version 1, version 2 or version 3. Let's take the version 1, turn on the TV and watch whatever it appears. Probably not. You will not waste your time to something that you don't like. So we can cut down the version 1. Let's take the version 2. Rate the programs in all the TV channels and take the highest rating program. Well, actually this is a little bit hectic work. You have to go through each and every TV channel. So at the moment, when you finalize your decision, the program might be over. Therefore, this second version is not an ideal one. Let's take the third one, rate the programs in top 5 channels. So here we are not going through each and every TV channel, we only go through top 5 favorite TV channels. So there is a high probability of having a good program to watch. So I hope you also like this third version of the solution. Rate the programs in top favorite channels. Ok, here we are now talking about what should be the goal of the algorithms. We say the goal of the algorithm is to solve a problem in a repeatable way. Now let's see how it could relate to the computers and technology. Algorithms provide a series of instructions that the computer follows to arrive at an answer and they underlie all of our technology. In computers, the problem that the algorithm is solving might be assorting a list, compressing a file, or determining which internet pages are most relevant to you when you search for something. Algorithms determine how traffic signals are scheduled, how postal services can most efficiently deliver your mail, and much more. In digital age, we should do more than just use technology. We need to explore the algorithms that power our phones, the social media sites and our world so we can become fluent in coding the language of technology and take an active role in the creation of technology. Now before winding up this episode, I want to give you a few questions. You have to write down the steps for several versions of algorithms to solve these everyday problems. The first one is deciding what restaurant to eat at. The second one is finding a book from your bookshelf. 
you know you have several preferences and for these problems what are you going to choose you have to write down that decision process with that we are going to end up this episode actually we didn't talk much about the theoretical concepts from the next episode optimizing algorithms we will do that so thank you for watching stay tuned on with helupedia world